From the weather team you can trust, here's meteorologist Christine Gregory. Well, our first full weekend of 2023 almost in the books, and now this might be hard to believe, but we've actually spent the past nine days with temperatures not falling below freezing, the longest stretch that we've seen in 17 years. So. This morning we were able to break that streak right now. Overnight we're going to do the same as well, but we've definitely been feeling the above average warmth around here. Even for this time of night, sitting around 30 degrees considered above average. Now tonight we'll have a few more clouds moving in, but we'll have partially cleared skies again. That should allow us to drop into the upper 20s, but it's a relatively quiet transition into our work week ahead, which we always like to see. Uh, over the next few days as well. It's going to be really hard to find much of any precipitation. I think the best chance for us in Rochester to see maybe some snowflakes looks like Tuesday, but it's not really going to amount to too much. I'm thinking Thursday into Friday later this week. We'll have to see what the models come up with, but I think we've got our best decent chance at some moderate rain and even some snow. We'll have to see how those details play out in the next few days. But this evening on this Sunday, we're nice and quiet. Again, a few more clouds now moving into the region, but we've got no rain and no snow to talk about. The only system nearby is right to our south. That's going to continue to make its way into places like Pennsylvania, New York City and Massachusetts, but it's going to miss us completely and we're not going to see anything out of it. We've got that next shot of lake effect snow. You barely saw it here in this future view where we could see a few snowflakes. Weak cold front passes through, but again, not really a whole lot's going to come with it. So we're going to enter our Monday similar to how we saw things today on this Sunday. We'll have temperatures in the 20s. I think mostly cloudy skies to start and a chance we could see a couple more hours of late day sunshine before the sun sets tomorrow. But again, it'll be a little bit tough to get those clouds to break and temperature wise. We're going to be above freezing. Now this is Monday night at 10 o'clock. You can see the model trying to produce a couple of lake effect snow showers. We've got a weak cold front moving through and there's just enough lift and moisture, I think, to where we could see a few flakes fly. But in terms of accumulations or impact wise, it'll be barely noticeable and we should be uh, off to a smooth start into our Wednesday as well. If you're looking for anything super, super wintry, I'm thinking Friday. That's going to be that best shot. We've got our low pressure system moving in that actually has started off in California. That's been giving them a lot of heavy rain lately. That will eventually give us some showers late Thursday into Friday. And finally, as we finally get some colder temperatures around here to support some decent snow, I think Friday into Saturday, that's when we could see maybe an inch or two, but we still got time to iron out those details. Izzy, it's another week here where we've got highs above freezing and another chance we could get close to 40 by Thursday. So still kind of dealing with a snow drought. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know. I know we said yesterday that my four year old keeps wondering where is the snow, but a 17 year uh, streak there without even breaking the freezing temperatures. Yeah, it's incredible. It's pretty incredible for sure. It is. Well, thank you so much for those updates for this Sunday afternoon and thank you for joining us on the web and of News 8 at 6 and we'll see you later tonight on Channel 8 at 1130.